Your car refuses to start this morning and the mechanic announces $300 for a diagnostic before even touching the hood. Wait before taking out your wallet because in the next few minutes you will discover 10 methods that professionals jealously guard for themselves. These techniques have already allowed thousands of drivers to save considerable amounts. The sixth trick with the cleaning spray technique works 90% of the time. The third reveals the mistake most mechanics make that you can correct in less than two minutes. These solutions are not theory but proven methods that work in the field without expensive equipment and without advanced technical training. Let's start with the 10th trick because what you're going to learn will change your approach to automotive breakdowns. Number 10. Systematically check tire pressure before any electrical diagnosis. This verification may seem disconnected from electrical problems, but it directly influences speed and ABS sensors. Uneven pressure between wheels disturbs rotation sensor signals and generates phantom error codes. The electronic system interprets these variations as malfunctions and can even block starting on certain recent vehicles. Check pressure when cold with a precise gauge and adjust according to manufacturer recommendations. This pressure is usually written on a label stuck in the driver door frame. A difference of only 0.3 bar can be enough to trigger warning lights and disturb onboard electronics. This free manipulation eliminates numerous false diagnostics and avoids hours of useless searching. Also think about checking the general condition of tires because irregular wear often reveals geometry problems. Number 9. Thoroughly clean battery terminals with baking soda. This solution may seem trivial but it solves 80% of unexplained electrical failures. Battery terminals accumulate a whitish layer of sulfate that acts as an electrical insulator. This corrosion invisible to the naked eye progressively blocks current flow and causes erratic symptoms. Always disconnect the negative terminal first to avoid short circuits and wear protective gloves. Prepare a paste with baking soda and a few drops of water then rub vigorously on terminals and posts. The chemical reaction neutralizes acid and dissolves corrosion instantly with slight gas emission. Rinse abundantly with clear water and dry perfectly before reconnecting in reverse order. Once connections are restored, apply dielectric grease to protect against future corrosion. This simple manipulation eliminates malfunctions that sometimes cost hundreds of dollars in useless diagnostics. An amateur can confirm improvement by measuring charging intensity, which should be between 12 and 14 amperes. Number 8. Systematically check the engine ground cable condition and its anchor points. This discrete wire connects the engine block to chassis and ensures electrical continuity of the entire vehicle. When this connection deteriorates, your vehicle develops unpredictable and confusing behaviors. Lighting that flickers for no reason, sensors that give aberrant values capricious starting or warning lights that turn on randomly. Locate this cable usually fixed on an engine mount and carefully examine its anchor point on the chassis. If you notice rust greenish traces or insufficient tightening you probably have the source of the problem. Completely dismantle the connection and sand contact surfaces with 400 grit abrasive paper. Then clean with degreaser to eliminate all traces of oil or metallic dust. Correct tightening of this simple fixing can literally resurrect a vehicle that seemed doomed. This verification takes less than 10 minutes but often avoids hours of fruitless searching in electrical circuits. Certain vehicles have several ground cables that must be checked individually to guarantee lasting repair. Number 7. Spray contact cleaner on all visible electrical connectors in the engine compartment. Humidity and dust infiltrate electrical sockets and create microscopic parasitic resistances. These micro-cuts disturb computer operation and generate phantom error codes difficult to diagnose. Contact cleaner dissolves these impurities without damaging sensitive electronic components. Disconnect each connector one by one and spray the product generously on male and female contacts. Let act for a few seconds, then reconnect firmly, ensuring proper fitting and locking. This operation works particularly well on airflow temperature or throttle position sensor connectors. Many vehicles return to normal operation after this basic intervention that requires no particular skill. The cleaner evaporates quickly and leaves no residue likely to disturb electronic circuits. Wear safety glasses because vapors can irritate eyes and work in a well-ventilated place. This technique proves particularly effective on vehicles that have driven in dusty or humid environments. Number 6. Reset the throttle body through the manufacturer learning procedure. Unstable, idle and hesitant acceleration problems often come from a poorly calibrated throttle body. This part controls air intake and must know precisely its extreme positions to function correctly. With engine stopped and cooled, turn the key to contact position without starting the vehicle. Press the accelerator pedal completely to the stop and maintain this position exactly 15 seconds. 
release the pedal completely and wait another 15 seconds before repeating the operation under the same conditions. Perform this sequence four consecutive times so the computer memorizes new reference values. At the next start, the engine may present slightly irregular idle for the first 30 seconds. This temporary instability is normal because the system automatically finalizes its learning of optimal parameters. This procedure works on most vehicles equipped with electronic throttle bodies since year 2000. Certain manufacturers like Renault or Peugeot use variants of this procedure that must be adapted according to model. This is the perfect moment to subscribe to the channel and activate notification bell. Your shares and comments give incredible strength to our passionate automotive community that grows every day. Number 5. Methodically test all fuses with a multimeter or test lamp. A blown fuse cuts electrical power to an entire circuit and causes immediate stop of the concerned function. Many drivers check fuses visually but this method remains insufficient to detect partial failures. Certain defective fuses show no visible signs of deterioration, but offer abnormal resistance. Set your multimeter to continuity position and test each fuse individually without removing it from its housing. The device must emit an audible beep if the fuse is intact and display resistance close to zero ohms. Absence of signal indicates internal break even if the fuse appears in perfect external condition. Systematically replace all suspect fuses with models of same amperage and same type. This meticulous verification avoids searching for complex failures when the solution costs less than $2. Always keep an assortment of spare fuses in your glove box with the most common amperages. Note that maxi-type fuses used for high-power circuits require particular checking. Number 4. Completely disconnect the battery for 20 minutes to reset all computers. This manipulation erases temporary error codes and resets all adaptive parameters of the vehicle. Modern electronic systems sometimes memorize passing malfunctions that disturb their normal operation. First disconnect the negative terminal, then the positive, and leave the vehicle without electrical power. During this pause, all capacitors discharge and volatile memories reset to zero. Take advantage of this wait to clean terminals and check the general condition of the battery. Then reconnect the positive terminal, then the negative tightening nuts firmly with appropriate wrench. At restart many warning lights may turn off permanently and engine behavior improve noticeably. This simple technique has solved thousands of electronic problems without costly workshop intervention. It proves particularly effective on vehicles that have suffered significant voltage variations or jump starts. Warning this procedure also erases radio settings and may require entering a security code. Number 3. Check the brake light switch under the brake pedal and its adjustment. This small switch activates brake lights and informs electronic systems that you are braking. When it misadjusts, it can block starting prevent gear shifting or turn on parasitic warning lights. Look carefully under the brake pedal to locate the switch usually fixed on the upper support. Check that the push button touches the pedal well and is not stuck by dust or wear. Simple cleaning or slight position adjustment often suffices to correct the malfunction. Test its proper operation by pressing the pedal and checking rear light illumination. This component costs less than $20 but its failure can simulate much more expensive breakdowns. Many mechanics neglect this elementary verification and search for more complex causes in electronics. The switch can also influence cruise control operation and emergency braking system. On certain recent vehicles, a defective switch can even prevent engine shutdown via stop button. Number 2. Inspect and thoroughly clean the main engine computer connector. The computer represents your vehicle's electronic brain, and its connector suffers numerous stresses. Vibrations, humidity, and corrosion can disturb connections and generate intermittent failures. Locate the computer box usually installed under dashboard or an engine compartment. Carefully disconnect the main connector by unlocking safety clips with caution. Carefully examine metal pins which must show no trace of verdigris or oxidation. Clean each contact with fine brush soaked in isopropyl alcohol and let dry completely. Also check the condition of sealing gasket that protects connector against humidity. Reassemble connector ensuring it fits perfectly, and clips lock correctly. This delicate intervention can eliminate malfunctions that sometimes cost $1,000 in computer replacement. Take all necessary precautions, because this component remains fragile and expensive to replace. Number 1. The secret technique of complete reset by sequential sensor disconnection. This revolutionary method consists of disconnecting and reconnecting each sensor in precise order. Start with water temperature sensor, then crankshaft position sensor, and finally airflow sensor. 
wait 30 seconds between each disconnection to allow computer to register signal absence. This procedure forces the system to re-evaluate all its operating parameters and eliminate erroneous values. Many vehicles recover their original performance after this manipulation that costs absolutely nothing. It proves particularly effective on engines that have accumulated incorrect adaptations over time. This technique is unknown because it requires precise knowledge of each sensor location. Take photos before disconnecting to avoid reassembly errors that could worsen the situation. Test immediately after this procedure to verify improvement in engine behavior. This method has allowed tens of thousands of drivers to avoid costly repairs. With these 10 techniques, you now possess the keys to solve most automotive electrical failures autonomously and economically. These tricks represent decades of experience condensed into a few minutes that can save you thousands of dollars. Do not hesitate to subscribe and activate notifications to discover other secrets that professionals would prefer to keep for themselves.